Good afternoon. My name is John Ronaldo. Today we're privileged to have Grandmaster Yuri Averbach with us, and we're going to be able to ask him uh, some very interesting questions about not only about his chess career, but chess in general. Grandmaster Yuri Averbach is here with us at the U.S. Senior Championship for the year 2004, and I'm one of the players that is playing in the tournament. Good afternoon, Grandmaster. Uh, good afternoon. Thank you. Former Soviet champion. Yeah. Good day. It's nice to meet you. Um, first, are you having a good time this week? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> good. Good. You were the Soviet champion. Yeah. In the 1950s. Yeah, in 54. 1954, to be exact. 1954. How long were you Soviet champion? Yeah, in uh, 50, 1956, I tied for the first place, but we had playoff and I was second. Mm -hmm. And who yeah. was your playoff with? Uh, I played uh, with Spassky and Taimanov, and Taimanov won really? this uh -huh. uh, competition, and Spassky was the last one. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, now we know Boris Spassky became world champion. Yeah. Was he a Soviet champion first? Did he become the Soviet champion? No, much later. Much later? Much later. So he, he got title in, if I remember, in 61, first mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. In 61, he was a uh, USSR champion. champion. Yeah. But before he was world champion? Before he, before he was world champion for young people under 20. Mm -hmm. And he got title of world champion for grown up. Only in '69. Mm, yeah. How old were you when you were Soviet champion? I was 32. 32. Two. That must have been something. That's the top of the hill, then. Yes, of course, it's yeah. uh, something, something to reach. Uh -huh. But uh, before, many years ago, when I was only under 16. I was a uh, championship of our country for boys under 60. It means that I right. was already a champion of USSR. Yep, for the under 60. Among boys. So at that time, as a young boy, you yeah. thought about being Soviet champion yeah, or yeah, maybe yeah, world yeah. champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty good. How many times did you attempt to be Soviet champion before you became Soviet champion? Uh, how, every year? Yes, every year we have, but I did not play every year, of course. Uh, I, first time I played in, uh, in our championship in 1949, 48, first time, 48, then 50, 51, at, at 54. Uh, yeah, only after four try I got title mm -hmm. after four times. But before to play in our championship, it was necessary to go through uh, qualification uh, tournaments. Mm -hmm. And I played in semifinals. Mm -hmm. We had semifinals. If you qualificated for uh, to play in final, right. only then you have right to play in final. Were you a professional chess player? Is that all you did, or did you do something else? No, may I say that in uh, I was an engineer. I he finished technical high school, school, and I uh, faculty of mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. And uh, du uh, during five years, mm -hmm. I was working as a mechanical engineer, and I combined my work with playing in tournaments. And twice I won championship of Moscow, rather strong tournaments also. And I had my doubts what to do next. And I decided to try to get Grandmaster title. And because when you are working as an engineer, it was very difficult to do it. Mm -hmm. So I decided to, to try to be chess professional. And uh, 12 years from 1950 till 1962, I was a chess professional. Mm -hmm. 